Okay, we should be ready to go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the True 23 Volt is here back for more Fire Emblem stuff. And I'm excited because here we are with the Fire Emblem Direct, which is actually kind of something I'm actually kind of looking forward to. So, obviously this is a, uh, an upload by Nintendo. I'm just going to be reacting and giving my thoughts about um, another... Um, you know, about the Fire Emblem news that's coming out. Uh, we're probably going to hear more about Fire Emblem Warriors and, Fire Emblem and the Fire Emblem Mobile game. But, in any case, let's jump right in and see what Fire what the Fire Emblem Direct is all about. Okay. May it contain... Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah! Emblem is holding at home. Welcome to Fire Emblem Direct, your destination for news and updates on multiple new Fire Emblem titles. <laughs> War looms, so prepare for battle by arming yourself with information on the many quests ahead. That's first good. begins now. Okay, all right. What's the, what's our first thing here? Once upon a time, there was one. There was a god named Duma and a goddess named Mila who fought each other with. Bittery of age, I don't know, I read it. Hey, why did Mila and Duma have to fight so much? Couldn't they just say where they were sorry? Well... Let's promise we never end up like that, okay? Uh oh yeah, nothing will ever come between us! That's a, that's a recipe for, that's, that's not what you want to say. <gasps> what is that? Okay, hang on, wait, 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 pause there. What in the world are you? That is a funky looking beast. I have no idea what that is. Ew. Ew. The earth split, the seas parted, and the heavens themselves threatened to become tumbling down. The battle transcended any that history had yet known. The book of Valent Valentian Revelations, Chapter 15. Yeah! Got, okay, this has got to be the mobile game. Alright. Once the gods themselves walk these lands, our continent of Valentella has hold of two sibling gods named Juma and Bila. The other gods, Juma, mark mankind must be ruled by strength, lest we become corrupt. While the sister Mila believe we shouldn't be free to pursue lives of pleasure and comfort. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. So what's, so what's this? Believe mankind must be ruled by strength, lest we become corrupt. Okay. Mila believe we should be free to pursue lives of pleasure and comfort. Okay, so one, so one trained to be strong, yada yada yada, and the other is more carefree. Two clash ceaselessly. It was long, it was a long and dark age before the bitter conflict was resolved with the binding of the Darvain Accord. Valentina would be divided in twain? Twain? So that's very close to Owain. With Duma ruling the north and Mila ruling the south. Oh, okay. So, so Twain is the Twain is the continent, right? In order to secure a lasting peace, each pledge never to violate the other's dom uh, dominion. Yeah, right. For millennia. Wow. Until time, the kingdom of Zofia, which Zofia, which Mila founded in the south, uh, prospered with the goddess's love and blessings. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm like kind of like slowly going through this. I just want to understand what this is. Is this? This has got to be the mobile game, uh, unless if this is unless unless this is Warriors, but it doesn't seem like that. Hers were a happy. Happy people who knew no toil and lived free of hardship. Yep, that makes sense. What a nice place. But Mila's gifts spoiled the Zophians, and it was only a matter of time before they sank into depravity? 
爆廃止。堕落と大敗にまみれ。ああ、I see。出ていた。You stupid king。Look at you! Meanwhile, the North, Duma has built his own empire. That makes sense. Tempered by harsh lands and even harsher teachings of their fierce gods, the people of Rignal, Rickle had grown strong.、Uh, ignore, ignore this. <laughs> so, my. Ah, excuse me.、Uh, but in their quest for power, the Rigelians had let their hearts grow cold and numb. To all kindness. I see. Both halves of the continent were in a fragile state, and cracks started to show. And now Valentina lies on this. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's, have, let's have a look at this map. Sorry, just, let's slowly go through this map. Looks like Europe. I mean. Well, I guess the fact that Fire Emblem uses swords is kind of medieval, but. medieval Eastern, but whatever.、Uh, both halves of the continent were in a fragile state and the cracks had begun to show.、Uh, and now Valentina lies on the cusp of a terrible war that could forever alter its history. Ooh! That looks like Italy. Like the islands of Italy. Italy. Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentine. Soon, the glorious past will be reborn as Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia. Oh, Valentia. This game is inspired、oh, by the second Why install. Why was I saying Valentia? Valentia. Woman in the series, Fire Emblem Gaiden. Wait, what? Which were Shadows wait, 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 of Valentia. Is this really. This game is inspired by the second、oh, installment inspired. of the series,、oh. Fire Emblem Gaiden. Which released exclusively in Japan in 1992. While、okay. the art is very much of its time, <laughs> it helped to define the series' signature style. Yeah. Gaiden stands out from other games in the series thanks to its unique gameplay system, which、What? puts clever twists on strategy conventions and mixes in some exploration in towns and dungeons. Uh huh. As for Fire Emblem <gasps> Echo, Shadows of Valentia, Wait. it reimagines Gaiden on a grander scale. This is a DS game. Wait, what? The dual protagonists, Alm and Selica, will join、oh! others locked in a trap. Oh, <laughs> yes! Oh, shit! We're actually getting a remake. Is this a remake of Fire Emblem 2? I know it's. Really? Okay, obviously, obviously I haven't played Fire Emblem 2, but if this is a remake of that, that is sick. Valentia, which the developers have recreated from the ground up. Yeah! It's gotta be. <laughs> Wait, so this is a 3DS game that's being released? Am I hearing this correctly? The conflict will come to life even in cutscenes created by Studio Kara. In fact, Every aspect of Gaiden's presentation has been updated. That's awesome. This is sick. Free roam. Okay, so yes. All right. They are slowly making their way, ladies and gentlemen. This is what Fire Emblem should be doing. After Fates, they should make remakes of the previous games. Well, remakes or like, games based off them. So I'm waiting. For well, because Shadow Dragon already got one in the DS, so obviously that was not going to get any love any soon. If this is Fire Emblem 2, this is perfect. Now we just have to wait for、uh, four, five. It was like Thresia 776 and the other one. I can't remember the other one. Fire Emblem Gaiden remake. It looks like, but you know it's Fire Emblem Echoes. But the characters have the name the same. All right, actually we're gonna we're gonna go slowly through this. We're gonna go a bit at a time. So in this in this game. Oh, and the music. As for Fire Emblem. So let's see what we have here. We have what seems to be.、Um, our unit's obviously blue.、Uh, let's see. We have a, a cavalier, a knight, a priest, what looks to be our version of a soldier. 
probably a Myrmidon and a Major Dancer. I can't really tell what that is. Uh, on the over here, I'm pretty sure that's a Blister. Might be an Archer and just an Archer, but I don't know. Lameco, and what are they standing on? Are they standing on? And that's that's another Lance unit, but like a Soldier unit. But what are you on? Are those ballistas that they can use? Can this guy use a ballista? Because he doesn't have a bow. So I'm just gonna guess no. <laughs> Shadows of Valentia. Wow. Now I'm gonna assume if this is like the actual like thing. Sure. Oh, I think this is this can't be the actual thing. What's that? Attack is 13. Defense is five. So that's eight. Eight times two, is 16. So this guy drops down to 10. Oh, I see. This is a, this is a very like I think this is a simplified version uh, of the battle the battle system thing. Yeah, it's, it's very it looks it looks very simple. So it's doesn't seem like. But also, what is this all about? What is this up here? Like, a, is this a support thing that he can work with or the questions? The questions. I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, semi shout out. Just leave it to Game Explain to freaking find some stuff that I probably can't figure out. But I don't know what he's doing here. So that's strange. Um, and yeah, this has got to be. This is actually got to be the detailed version because they have attack and defense. Like, I'm pretty sure there'll be, like, an updated one where it'll just tell you how much damage you can do, just straight up, instead of just saying, this is how much attack I have, this is how much defense he has. Do that, minus that, and then times it by two, and then you get the amount of damage taken down by this, so... It reimagines Gaiden on a grander ah. scale. That looks sick, by the way. Come on now, I mean, you deserve more experience than the that. The dual protagonists, Alm and Selica. Okay. They look... Stunning, absolutely stunning. The two of them will join oh, others locked in a tragic is, war they dividing are the continent of Valentia. Both of them, which the developers have recreated. Good job, Hidari, son. <laughs> Studio <laughs> Kara. Okay, so he obviously I don't know characters, Gaiden, uh, but he looks like your typical Myrmidon class. <laughs> these, these are just spitballs, <laughs> and this guy looks like a. Beast. No, I can see him as either like a mercenary or a fighter. I don't know what he is. The conflict will come to life even in cutscenes created by Studio Kara. In fact, every aspect That's of Gaiden's awesome. presentation has been updated. That's good. This. Okay, so what's this free roaming shit? Dungeons crawling with enemies. What? Oh, that's sick. It's like an RPG. <laughs> the battle system is Fire Emblem. I actually didn't even think that was possible because it doesn't look real. It doesn't look, it doesn't look, it doesn't make sense. You have like one character meet with another character and then boom, 50 other characters appear around them. That's Flexible awesome. Flexible character progression. Everything that made Fire Emblem. Oh, are they cha is, these, is this guy like changing his class? Because, you know, that's why there's different like stat changes so let's 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 just have double check and who he selects here flexible care so he's selecting a guy who was a sword so probably a myrmidon or a swordsman class Character progression and turning him into a cavalier you get one extra defense and three movement Makes everything sense. that made fire emblem guy would you like to change his here. class yeah sure it's classic fire emblem gameplay with a twist who's he guy bandana Yay! Class change! Okay, so we saw a cavalier. Here we have a mage using a thunder spell. Hey! Block, bitch! Take that! Well, that was, a, that was an electric sword, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a leaven sword. Is that Alm's special weapon, the leaven sword? Is that Selica? That's gotta be Selica. Oh, it's a dragon! Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia. will launch on the Nintendo 3DS family of systems May- So they are releasing a new Fire Emblem game. 19th of May, 2017. And you best know that I'm gonna get it. I just need to get through Birthright and Revelations first. God damn it! Alongside the game- Getting I'm him. Immediately getting him. 
getting these. Absolutely getting these. <laughs> oh, Almond Celica for freaking Smash Bros. Evo figures I'm kidding. of Almond Celica will march onto store shelves. Available as two as a two pack, May 19. Yep, I'm actually getting that as well. I'm losing so much money. I'm actually going to mention this now. So you know how I'm already pre-ordering the Switch. The Switch is 2.99 if I sold my Wii U and one game. If I don't do it because I want to keep my Wii U because I've got good stuff on there, I would have to buy the Switch for 469 bucks. Now <laughs> that's with that's for everything and without the game. This is Australian dollars, by the way. And now that I'm going to be pre-ordering this, oh, my year is going to be so much in Nintendo's favor. Why are you selling so much shit in one go? We'll have more to announce in the future. Uh, what's next? On the distant horizon, another full-scale war is mounting. From what? That's right. Oh, is it A Warriors? A brand new Fire Emblem game is coming to Nintendo Switch. It will mark the series' first return to home system. Um, I, I've got to tell you, it's got to be called Emblem Warriors. Emblem Warriors works. Since 2008's Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn on the Wii console. But with Nintendo Switch, the home console experience of Fire Emblem won't be confined to your house. Yep. As, always, as it always is. forward to a planned 2018 release. Wait, there's going to be an actual Fire Emblem game on the Switch? Fire Emblem's not dead. Fire Emblem's not dead. Fire Emblem's this not dead. This just in from the front lines. Oh, yes, thank you. A crossover oh. between Koei Tecmo Games Warriors series and Fire Emblem. And the full trailer includes scenes that weren't in last week's reveal. Thank you. Take a look. All right, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna, we're going to analyze the shit out of this one. Man, you, 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 this team of Dynasty Warriors are the best. Okay, what? All right, hang on, hang on. This is the same thing. All right. Falchion. Krom and Lucina. Nothing different. That is the Alto Blade for Corrin. The uh, Rajinto for Ryoma. The Siegfried for Xander. And Mart's essentially Mart's classic Falchion. All represent orbs of the Fire Emblem. Now, I'm not a big Fire Emblem genius. I can't remember the names that these orbs were in Awakening, but hey. We know that those characters represent are going to be represented in this. Fire Emblem Warriors. I, okay, so I guess it is going to be just called. I guess it is just going to be called Fire Emblem Warriors. I still think Emblem Warriors would have been better, though, to be in my honest opinion. Oh, oh well, that's being a little bit too picky. <laughs> yes, this is good music right there, right there. All right, so, yes, yes, okay, good. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know what Dynasty Warriors is all about, this is what, essentially, Dynasty Warriors is. Again, just with a Fire Emblem skin over it. You play one character, overpowered, against this many enemies. This is what Dynasty Warriors is all about. So, seeing it in Fire Emblem's form, this is awesome. Yes! Okay, I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. So I know. I believe I know how the combo system works. So he's going light, 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 heavy. So it's a simple. Yeah, it's a. So it's a light attack, light, 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 and then he's heavy combo. And then what looks to be another uh, end to the heavy combo, unless that's all of his light, it wouldn't make any sense because usually light combos are very small and directly in front of you, or sometimes around you, but not that wide of an area. So that, to me, seems like a strong attack finishing move. Um, and speaking of finishing move, that must be his... Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's exactly that's exactly what I predicted the um, special moves to be like. So he does look... <laughs> I will say, Krom does look a little bit strange. Yeah, so... Basically, special mo special moves. You can just press in the in a simple hand of a button. Obviously, they do so much damage to many targets in an area or de or in some sort of target range. And they, in Dynasty Warrior terms, that would be the Muso, I believe, is what it's called. So, yeah, uh, not bad. Do it right now. Fall 2017. Now, if we do the math. 
Fall 2017, if this is Japanese, this won't be coming up till spring 2017 for us. Because fall 2017 in, obviously, in the southern region, that is March, April, May. Which I have, I don't believe it's that, it's not even that close. Uh, but in spring, that spring, that would be much later, obviously, to their fall. So, I can see that coming out in spring, not awesome. Still not or ready here. for battle? Then I am ready up. for battle. The game is being developed not only for Nintendo Switch, oh. but also for new Nintendo 3DS systems. Okay. Look out for Koei Tecmo's Fire Emblem Warriors, brought to you by the team behind Hyrule Warriors, in fall of 2017. Okay. Well, that's new. So one on the 3DS and one on the Switch. Probably get it on the Switch. Um, and I might get it on the 3DS too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blowing so much money to do this because there's no point in getting it on both because you can legit just bring the switch anywhere so it doesn't have like it's a handheld in a way well it's it's a home console that transforms into a handheld so it's like getting it on the 3DS will be so redundant but maybe I'll get it on the 3DS because I know for a fact that uh, Glenn and Jess aren't able to get switches on their own on release date so and they already have 3DSs so hey all right, come on. What else you got? Now for a lesson in truly mobile defense. To battle. Mobile defense? Is this a, is it going to be a defense game? Not actual gameplay. Who are you? Look at, look at that guy. And that girl. She's pretty looking. So I'm guessing, are those like the main characters? Male and female, depending on which you pick. Ooh! Ah, uh, hello! <laughs> okay, you must- are you the evil guy? No! Who's evil? Are you evil? Why do you have guns? Wait, Fire Emblem doesn't have guns? Okay, no, that must be- uh, what the- Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> what? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What is this? What is this? What is this scene? Why is Xander here and why is Lucina behind Xander? Now, I can understand if Lucina knows Xander because of the freaking Fire Emblem law stuff, but what is Xander? Okay, 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 that's. That is. That was. That was not expected. At least he does have a gun. Oh, hi, Camilla. What the hell are you doing? Crom. Oh boy, what the fuck? Hang on, what? Wait, what? What is this? Lissa, Ryoma, Hinoka, Takumi, Dark Man. Who are you meant to be? Okay, I don't think she's meant to be any character, but she looks like a Dark Mage and a Kinshi Knight put together. Fire Emblem Heroes! You just saw the opening of the first ever Fire Emblem game for smart devices. <laughs> I need to see that again. So, it's... That's, that's, that's freaking amazing. Oh my goodness. Look at that, Xander and Lucina just standing there. Is this like, is that like a capture gun? We just, did we have... Because I know mobile games you can like capture units, but still, this is insane. <laughs> what is this all about? Hi, Lissa. Hi. Oh, uh, that's sick. I mean, I have no idea what what heroes can possibly be. You just saw the opening of the like... first ever Fire Emblem game for smart devices. In this tactical RPG, mm -hmm. you'll wage strategic battles in the fantasy world of Fire Emblem and level up beloved series characters as you throw down the gauntlet anytime, anywhere. I think the advantage of having a Fire Emblem mobile game is that you can just keep adding people, so it's like, yeah, no. And you're in luck. You've been summoned to battle. Like, because you can add, because obviously mobile games update. So as long as they keep updating the game, like, it's not going to get old. I'm looking at you, Pokemon Go. Fate has brought two warring kingdoms together in a bitter clash. The Emblian Empire the plans Emblian. to conquer every world it collides with. 
<gasps> while the Askren Kingdom stands against them, determined to end their tyranny. Whose side do we pick? Now, the Kingdom of Asker faces total destruction. As a summoner, you must call upon Fire Emblem heroes from throughout history. It is summoning. Okay, so... Is it yes? <laughs> Alright. For those of you who don't know, there is an app called Brave Frontier. This is this is what I'm this is these are the feels that I'm getting. If you're a summoner who summons heroes of old, this is the perfect Brave Frontier skin, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna leave Brave Frontier for this if that needs to be the case. To unite as one army, you'll encounter a mix hey, of Anna. new combatants and legendary heroes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Whoop. Let's rewind a bit. All right. Combatants. Let's analyze this shit. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, what do we got here? We got what looks to be Takami, Camilla, Lynn. Lynn. She looks adorable in a thing. Like, very young. Roy also looks very young. Marth, Tiki, Robin, Lucina. Is that... No, no, no. That's the... um. These guys are the enemies of the freaking... What's his name? Zephiel? Zephiel? I know he's also like a villain in, in Fire Emblem 6. That looks like Ogma. Ah, uh, I think it's Ogma. They... I think that's Pala from... Oh, I should know all these guys, but I'm not sure. Hey, Henry! He's in the back there. That looks like Gaius. Why, why is Crumb all the way in the back line over there? He should be in the front. Like, right smack dab in the middle. Uh, who's this old man? I think he's... Is that Barter? No, it can't be Barter. That's Eliwood over there. Why is Eliwood all the way in the back as well? You can see Virian's glimpse of hair. And Sh uh, Sh uh, Shershe. Minerva? I don't know, that looks like Cordelia. Oh, I'm glad Henry's there. There's Daja, there's Lilla... Is it Lilana? Roy's love interest? That that looks like, um, Stahl as well. Damn it! I wish I knew you characters. I think I think you're the healer from Fire Emblem Six. Don't remember. I don't remember. And you don't look you don't look like Navarre at all. But who are you? Oh. Some will become your allies. Oh, oh, it's Far. I think. And this little, it's freaking little little Nino kid. I forgot your name, boy. Ah, uh, I need to play Fire Emblem Six again to remember the names. Wait, did I see you before? No, I didn't see her. Some will become. Who are you? Um, crap. Crap. I should know who you are. <gasps> Frederick. <laughs> Frederick, you do exist. And Donald, you too. I'm your allies. Who are you? You look like the freaking girl from Working. You look like the Tanashima from Working. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know why you'd be in While other Ah! Up uh, for a prince there, I saw, um, oh, there's Laszlo in the back. And there's Xander. Uh, for a brin for, for a brief second there, I saw, um, Obero. Whoa, is that Hawkeye? Hawkeye, you look sick, buddy. Not bad. There's Lissa. Who else we got? Um, there's Sizo in the back. That's Matthew, I think. Oh my god, sorry this is sorry this is taking so long. I know you probably just want to get through the video, become but, your allies. dude, I While am others excited. Will enemy what is... Generals and take... Enemy- some of them become enemy generals? Sully's there. Arms against you. Guy Starja. Hinoka. That looks like Gunter. It's an Severa. Epic quest. Severa, Naui, and Tiki. They get, they all look the younger. Uh, bro, Hinata, I see Azura. Perry. Baruka. Niles for a split second. Especially, especially, essentially, like all the Fates characters in the back line there. Felicia, I see on the right. It's an epic quest. Yes, he's there again. Uh, oh, I see you. I see you. Um, Azuma, Azma. A palm of. Don't think I don't see you. Your hand. Aha, Kagura is also there. <laughs> Look at that. I'm, oh, and I think I briefly saw Sitsuna for a split second. All right. So let's see what this game's all about. Each map is an 8x6 grid designed to fit on a smartphone screen. Yes. That way you can enjoy the full majesty oh, of tactical this role is cute. Play, even when it playing in short bursts. Alphonse? Okay, hang on. We, these are the two main characters of the game, so we have to and as a main a character. Yes. Sharina. I like that name. That Sharina way you can enjoy the full majesty of tactical roleplay. Anna, you're even in the when game! Playing in oh, short actually, you know what? Hang on. Again, again. Sorry, we're playing. We're going to get every single thing we got here. So we have... Arena, 
who looks to be some sort of just soldier character. She has an Iron Lance and a Rally Attack. Um, at level one, at level nine, sorry. Okay, so it looks like it's just have you just have attack, damage, defense, speed, and resistance. I guess it doesn't want to be too in depth. All right. Majesty of Tech. And we have Anna, who is probably going to be. She looks like a a, a healer Tactical for some role. reason. She should be a thief. Um, but let's see. She, oh, she has an axe. Why does she have an axe? <laughs> Anna never wields an axe. Anna's legit wield every weapon. Um, and she has Night Sky, which what the frick does that mean? I don't know. So you have attack, fence, and this. What is this? What is this symbol? A weapon. We'll play. Even when playing in short bursts. And this guy's got daylight. The kind of the opposite. He's level 21, the boy! To attack, simply drag an ally until it overlaps with an enemy. <laughs> that is actually so cute. Or, as in previous Fire Emblem games, you can select a location on the screen to move there, and then select your action. Onward! Yeah. Why is Anna holding an axe? Oh my god, she's gonna murder the shit out of you. Die! Ow, no, don't hurt that. Your arm. Take that. So lead them your way. Come on, I want to see the guy's animation too. As you will. As you will. Oh, if you stupid. manage to defeat every enemy on a given map, victory will be yours. Oh, look, Livia's there! And she actually holds a sword? Okay. Oh, wait. Dancers can attack! Ha-ha! So, okay, cool. Fire Emblem Warriors, Olivia. While the controls are... Effie? She has Smite. What are you, what are you, what are you in? Some sort of... <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's got a little reminder. Remember that swords beat axes, axes beat lances, and lances beat swords. Okay, I just want to give it like a minor just plug into a certain game. It's known as Phantom of the Kill. It's pretty much Fire Emblem, but Fire Emblem did the smart thing with the whole dragging because in Phantom of the Kill, it's like very, very slow and clunky, as well as you have to keep moving the screen a lot so you don't have a good visual of the entire map. In this case though, I kind of like it. So we have Olivia here, she has a steel sword and no actually other skills. She's at level 10 and has a decent amount of attack. Well, the and then there's Effie. Her attack is insane, and her defense is insane as well. Being the same as same as Olivia, she's level ten as well. Ah. Controls are simple. Many challenging maps will require you to take full advantage. My Nerva. Oh, they all they all have voices. I'm hoping. Okay, and she holds the Horde Claire, a unique item to her. Now, please, Fire Emblem, whatever this is called, mobile. Please, don't reuse character voices. I want. And you need your terrain, voices, which is simple, just simple one-liners. That, that's all you need. And plan your moves carefully. Celica, Cecilia, Cecilia. To achieve victory. I don't know who you are. Okay, this Fire Sharina fans again. Will find the oh, oh, actually, you know what? Let's actually just go back a bit. That looks like that looks like Far, or is it Far or Fee from uh, Fire Emblem Six? The daughter of the daughter of uh, Barter and um, Carla. Is it Far? And that looks like Hawkeye. And that looks like I don't know who that is. It looks like it looks like Baruka's head on a Pegasus though. But this is a Pegasus night, so I'm going to assume it's not Kada. It's uh, the blue the blue of the three flying sisters. I can't remember her name. Any challenging maps. I'm so I'm such a poor you to take full advantage of your terrain nerd. And plan your moves. So okay, so you have Cecilia here. This is obviously Marth, Robin, Lucina. And we're versing what seems to be Minerva. Uh, <laughs> it's, that's not the Black Knight, for sure. Wait, maybe it is the Black Knight. It could be the Black Knight. I mean, he's got, he's got his look, and Black Knight uses a, a sword. And little Sakura up there. That's cute. Carefully to achieve victory. Fire him. All right, so let's see here. So here we have what looks to be Saizo. That is Lilina, I think. You look... Are you Tiki? Or like, nah? Emblem fan. But she's a, she's a green haired girl wielding a tome it looks like. Not a dragon stone, so I don't know. Oh, we do know that's Roy up there. 
Who are you? She looks like Marcia from... Oh, wait, I think I know who this is. It's the knight from Fire Emblem 6. I forgot her name. Uh, I forgot your name. I forget your name. And that looks like... That looks like Zephyr. And... You could be... No, I, I don't know what the hell you are. You are like a male healer? Ah, oh, damn it. I wish I knew who you were. Fans will find the battle intensity they've come to expect. Oh, it's Nino! <laughs> I forgot about Nino! <laughs> Frick! Oh, yes! Okay, hello. Hello, cutie. Gwendolyn? Is that your name? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, and their face changes too. Oh, that's cute. Krom. Ooh, okay. Uh, so let's see what we've got here. We've got Krom, Sully, Baruka, and what looks to be something else, versus Xander, Perry, Laszlo, and some generic Dark Knight. I think. Who's the one on the right? Is that Sitsuna? That's Sitsuna. That is Sitsuna. Oh, I'm sorry. The... I didn't... I couldn't fully see it, but that's a bow. But yes. Okay. Ah! Oh, they're so cute! They You'll are notice so... notice some important symbols above each of your heroes. They are so cute! These are attributes. Yes. Keys to success in battle. And each character has their own. Sword beats axe. Axe beats lance. Lance beats sword. Fire beats wind, winds beats thunder, thunder beats fire. Take okay. note, summoners. Red is strong against green. Green, green is, is strong, strong against, against blue. blue. And blue and blue is, is strong, strong against, against red. red. Awesome. Veterans will recognize this as the signature weapon triangle system of Fire Emblem. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Even the bravest of Fire Emblem heroes would do best to avoid attacks from enemies with dominant attributes. <laughs> oh, Perry. Hey, I'm gonna kill the shit out of you. I will not fail! God, it seems playing to your. <laughs> Perry, you killed him! Ah. Uh, a lot of people don't like Perry, and it's actually very understandable. She is very. She's a very mundled up character in Fates, but can you just not like her? She's adorable. Yes, she's in realistic terms, she's a psychopath, but hey. Strengths is of dire. There are, I'm not saying she's the best character out there, but she's still just. Uh, she's lovable. Using an item called an orb, you can summon a hero to claim as your ally. Why the fuck do you summon me, you what? I was I was on my way to becoming king. Now you've now where am I? Okay. This is the typical summon and you know you get characters. I that's awesome. Freaking I love it. I love these kinds of games. One slight issue. Character repeats. Now, obviously when you summon a character in Brave Frontier, I'm going to use that as an example because that's the main game I play. You can get repeated units. And if you do that in this game, like, is that possible? Like, what, what do you do? That's Tiki. Orbs. <gasps> Odin. <can> acquired during <laughs> it's Odin as Odin. Gameplay. So what do you get? So you get one orb. Quest clear, KO flying units, uh, claim your reward from the mission list. Or through additional... Okay, hang on, let me rewind that and let's actually have a look. So, Baruka with the axe, Odin with a spell, Corin with the sword, and Azuma with a staff. Okay, that's cool. And it looks like you do have stamina. Kieran? Kieran? Is this is Kieran playing. Kieran, the, uh, the cavalier from uh, Radiant Dawn and Path Radiance. The red one. Uh, Oscar's rival, I guess. Okay, so it looks to me that obviously this is your player name. We have stamina here, so obviously after a certain amount of quests are done, you have to wait and let it regen over time, or use gems to fully heal it. I don't know why you would, unless it was a big event. Um, you have arena, so there's arena-based stuff here, and I'm going to assume this is your gold. Your gold stuff. But yes, 50, 50 gems. Look at you, you can summon 50 warriors. I may, I may or may not be actually doing this. <coughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Purchases at the shop. I, I'm actually going to buy. Now, let's summon a hero. So you need five gems to summon a hero. That's similar to Brave Frontier. The coloring of these five randomly... You'll save orbs if you summon more than one hero from the same selection of stones. You will save the most if you summon five from the selection. Select a stone the colors indicate the hero types. Really? Generated summoning stones represent the attributes of the hero. 
Dun, 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 dun. Oh, hang on, I gotta listen to that. That sounds like a re remix of it. So let's see what do we have here. Um, so from the red ones, you can get swords, tomes, and dragons. From the green ones, you can get axes, tomes, and beasts. From the blue ones, you get lances, tomes, and beasts. And from the dark one, you can get bows, ninjas, and stabs. Why? Why? Why does red, green, and blue? Maybe, maybe it's dependent. Oh, so I think this one will have fire. This one will have thunder. Oh no, this will have wind, and this has thunder. I think, I think that's what they're going with here. And I guess it might be randomly generated depending on which one you get. Okay, cool. As you can summon. Okay, let's actually. Li okay, means... let's listen to the soundtrack here. The coloring of these five randomly generated summoning stones dun, 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 represent dun, dun, dun. the attributes of the heroes you can summon. That means you can try to supplement the attributes lacking in your current armor. Or you can select a summoning stone of a certain color to call upon heroes with the attributes you desire. Continue summoning, and the number of orbs required to summon a hero will lessen. Really? Attributes lacking in your summoning stones represent the attributes okay, of the heroes you can summon. To the thing. That means you can try to supplement the attributes lacking in your current army. That's true. So I guess that is kind of nice how they have separate. This is this is what you deserve. This is what you need, Brave Frontier. Like at least an element freaking summon. I mean, I mean, I guess Brave Frontier do events where you can like get certain uh, units that are very good with like defense or uh, getting like getting your specials ready and all that kind of joint. But at least in this one, it's good. So you don't have a team full of swords who just get wrecked by a whole team of lances. So it's that's nice. It kind of gives you that freedom to move around and get some other stuff. Or you can select a summoning da -da -da -da. stone of a certain da -da 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 color to call upon heroes with the attributes you desire. Continue summoning. <laughs> Corin looks. Well, that's not Corin. That's Sharina. Sharina, you look adorable. And the number of orbs required to summon a hero will lessen. I see. I see. So he's gonna pick the red one. Now, let's do your homework. What does red summon? Sword, probably a fire, tome, magic dude, or a beast. On this first summon, I'm crossing my fingers for long coup. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> ah, the timid dancer, Olivia. <laughs> I'm hoping I get long coup. God damn it, I got his wife. Oh, Olivia, blushing beautifully. Blushing yeah, beauty. I'm dancing all the time. <laughs> okay, I might get that sword on my Can next. I get that repeated. Ah, the timid dancer Olivia. Can't rely on dancing all the time. <laughs> I'm I'm Olivia, a traveling dancer, and I'm pretty sure that um my skills might be useful. Maybe. Okay. You can redeem. <laughs> You'll save. You'll save. Orbs if you summon more than one hero from the same selection of stones. You'll save the most if you summon five from the selection. Ah, I see. So, from... F oh, that's clever. So, with five... So, so, with the five stones there, that's essentially, like, you know, the five stones of the Fire Emblem. Um, as well as, if you summon more, you can summon... You, you, you get re redeeming from... Instead of paying, let's say, five times five is twenty-five, I think you save... I think if you summon five in a row you get one free in the end of it if you get all five because it's five four 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 three which taking all the reductions you 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 reduce the cost from 25 to 20 so that's pretty good i like okay, it i might get that sword on my next try so let's try summoning again okay when you repeatedly summon you can save on the number of orbs you need to use so that's Long a bonus too Long excellent Yes. Yes. The stoic swordsman I am Long Ku. Badass. Most warriors never learn their limits. I am Long Ku, a swordsman of Regna Ferox. And that's all there is to know about me. Trust me, I don't have a phobia of women. And Long Ku is you a shining know, example. You don't know nothing. You don't the know shit. The heroes are depicted in brand new art, hand drawn by a variety of illustrators. And their voices. Jacob. Ooh, he's a four star. So there are rarities. Okay. Oh, why is Long Q worse than Jacob? Come on, Jacob. Newly recorded. Hey! Now that is deserving of a five star. Lady of the Plains, Lynn. There is. Oh, hang on. There's a voices. There are voices. 
been newly recorded. Oh, but before I listen to a voice, let's actually let's actually quick. Lady of the Lake Azura. So you, I guess you can tap to hear a voice. You see her stats. So what do we have here? We do have her level, experience for her next level. We have a HP, her attack, which is obviously how much damage she can do. The speed, her defense. So all these characters have pretty good attack. I think the weapon triangle in this game is probably the biggest influence ever because you saw Crom, how Crom was fighting Perry the other that back in the scene before. He got demolished. So. Oh, and there's resistance as well. Okay, so they have defense and resistance. Okay, that's good to know. And they have SP. Uh, she has this Sapphire Lance, and I think this looks like an ability. So this shield thing might be an ability that they could just passively use. There is power fathomless within my pendant. I've taken a real interest in you. So I do believe that these are all different voice actors, but... If they're the same voices, that's pretty sick. There's Starja. Hello. You were the you were you were Volt's first waifu before he met Anna. Oh, that's awesome. They actually have names here. Oh, Nasi and you stupid prick. I remember you. Captivated by my style and grace. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> of course you are. Shall we chat? Just Let for a know. while. I know you have plenty to do. You're an the number of stars allocated to each hero denotes their strength. Well, it just denotes their rarity and, and I guess their strength. I'm Robin. I'm a tactician for the Shepherds. So let me know if you need me if you need a battle plan. You may encounter multiple versions of the same Oh no, it is going to be repeated. I guess it's to be expected. <laughs> Elf under. What the frick is that? Blaraven and a Glowing Ember. I think maybe that's a maybe that's a oh this might be a skill. Okay, so what we have is so he's got his normal swords. This is probably a move, so like a, an additional move instead of just attacking. And this might be his skill. Now let's roll down lower here. Are these supports? Can you have your characters support with one another? That'd be interesting. Same character. But higher star counts can mean higher stats. That is true. That yeah, that is true. High stars mean better stats. weapons and better skills. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's add Long Ku to the party and head. Niles. All right. We're going through this list. So Lucina, Long Q, probably Laszlo. That looks like Henry, Robin, Corin. Are you Florina? You look like Florina. You're the Pegasus Knight from Mart's game. The one who has a crush on Marth. Frick, I forgot your name. Oh, I forgot you as well. Are you Kada? You might be Kada. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, that looks like Odin. Uh, that looks like Minerva. Hawkeye. Wait, you know, you look like Minerva. Who the hell are you? Um, you... Wait, no, you're Minerva. Who's Minerva? Shershe, Niles, Setsuna, Nino, Baruka. Uh, are you... Are you the... Who are you? The axe unit from... Mart's game? One of them, maybe? <laughs> Is that Wallace? I hope that's Wallace. Uh, Saizo, and... What is your name? I know you. I know you. Wait, no, he's not Wallace. Oh, he's the dude from... He's the. He's got a lance. He's the dude from Mart's game. Oh, he's the main healer. What's his name? It's not Rise. Rise is from something else. I actually forgot his name, but he's the healer that you get in Mart's game. You get him from a village, I think. Yep, I know him. I know him. Yep, 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 yep. Into battle. Oh, so that is my Nerva. So then, who the bloody hell are you? Pick him, pick him, pick him, pick him. Rise. Oh, his name is Rise. Or Reese. <laughs> I wasn't far off. Would you look at that? Who the fr Okay. I'm so sorry. I don't know who this is. I pretty much I should know who that is. Fear not. Long Ku is an expert swordsman. And you just sent him to his death. <laughs> uh, axe flyer, look at you, you just destroyed him. Long Q looks cute. Uh, oh. Defeated heroes return to your unit after battle has ended. Gods, such tragedy. <laughs> Gods, defeated by this woman. Oh. <laughs> I'm afraid our fledgling Long Q has a great deal to learn. Level up heroes. Alright, so how, how is leveling up to, to explore this? outside of the main quest. 
such as the Training Tower, uh -huh. where heroes can gain ample experience and rewards through combat. There are many ways to battle, and each will level up your heroes while offering new challenges. Yeah, level up. Oh, let's see the level up system. Okay, what's happened? What does it do? As heroes gain combat... Wait, what did he get plus six in? <laughs> what did he get plus six in? Hang on, hang on, hang on. He got a plus six. Oh, SP. What the bollocks is SP? As heroes... Other than that, that was a pretty shit level up for a gain one combat plus combat experience. Players can use the rewards... Alright, Long Q, what do you get? They've earned to learn new skills. Oh, now that's a good level. What's this SP stuff? He got 12! Skill up. Oh! You get SP to put into your skills. Oh! You can buy weapons too! These ain't skills, you're just buying them weapons. So he starts on the iron sword, and then he gets a steel sword, and then he gets a killing edge. Accelerate. Special trigger. Cooldown count. Minus one. Okay? Oh, no, no. Cooldown count is one. Love heroes. Killing it. Oh, yes. Equip this skill, Night Sky. And even. Night Sky grants 50% to damage dealt. Ooh! Ooh! So, it, okay, so that is a skill. Okay. To increase their star rating. Even heroes who begin. Increase star rating. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Fewer stars can earn more through battling in special materials. So yeah, he prom yeah, it's essentially like kind of like it's rarity ups, but I see the I wonder if they can class change. Over time, it's possible being granted power instead of slowly earning it isn't so bad. <laughs> to max out at five stars. As you can see, I would like oh, it is, is already growing in I will, I will go back for a few seconds here. So he destroys Baruka. Yeah, it is Barter right there. That's cool. And that's the that's the Fire Emblem 6 version of Barter, not the Fire Emblem 7 one. As you can see, our Long Ku is already growing in strength at a rapid pace. Being granted power instead of slowly earning it isn't so bad. Hero battles. I mean, assuming these are arenas. Hero battles are timed encounters in which you'll battle against a selected hero. Oh Win no! The battle, star! And the defeated hero will become. Yay! We caught a one-star star. Your ally. Hi, I'm Star from the Shepherds. Sorry, can't tell my stomach is um Sometimes, just so slow. An extremely powerful oh, it's hero, Navar. Matthew, such as the Scarlet Swordsman Navar. Since when does a swordsman of his caliber fall in with thieves and cutthroats? <laughs> no. If you're willing to pay for his services with your life, consider yourself a high bidder. And with that, Navar will lend his sword to your cause. But it is Navar. It didn't look like Navar. He's so red. It won't be easy. He looks female. These battles are truly heroic undertakings. From Longku and Navar to look, look at this. Look at this bottom line up here. Marth. Roy, Corin, and Krom. Versing Niles, Leo, Odin, and some generic dude. <laughs> what is... What is Leo doing? Where, where are we? Abel. Oh, Abel! How you doing? Abel, Zetsuna, Ryoma, and... Who are you? From Longku and Navar to Mark. I don't know who you are. Navar. And Corin. To allies you've yet to meet. Lin. Oh, it's Sophia! Corin gets a red cavalier. Will unite. Oh, even Ur see, even villains are in Ursula's in it too. That's Under cool. A common band. Fight together. Level Ooh. up and grow. Oh, okay, so they're just troubadours. Alphonse. Soon the battle goes mobile in Fire Emblem Heroes. Please stay tuned. Free download. To help you get ready for launch. We're opening up the official Fire Emblem Heroes Choose Your Legends event. What? Starting today, you can visit the website to browse through characters from the Fire Emblem franchise and select the ones that you'd like to see make an appearance in Fire Emblem Heroes. Then, the global community's top-ranked hero and heroine oh! will be featured in Fire Emblem Heroes as Choose Your Legends event characters. Marth, Tiki, Seleth, Roy, Lin, Erica. Yes, Ike, Erica. Oh, Corin, 
Navarre, Longku, Validar, and Niles. Who will you choose? Wait, Remember, that... choose your legends on the official website, which will go Wait, will they Roy will they and select Wait, the, the ones that you'd like to see make an appearance in Fire Emblem Heroes. Then, the global community's top-ranked hero and heroine will be featured in Fire Emblem Heroes as Choose Your Legends event characters. Mark. Oh, T it's gonna be hard, but you know what? Seleth. Roy. You'll receive a Platinum Point bonus site, which will go live today. Yeah, I'm Nintendo going straight holders, to it right now. You'll receive a Platinum Point bonus for voting. Our journey today may be over, but there are many quests ahead. Till we meet in battle. Okay, so after that long ass trailer, let me actually go through some stuff. That went for an hour. Whoa. Okay, I really drawn this out. Okay, well, sorry, <laughs> so sorry that took a whole hour to get through. But hey, there's a lot to talk about. I kind of went very in-depth about it. Fire Emblem whole thing. I'm looking forward to the mobile game now. I think I'm going to be playing that a shit ton, to be honest. But hey, until then, <laughs> I'm the true 23 vote. I'm sorry for taking an hour of your time. Um, but yep, that, I don't actually, I don't necessarily have to do my own, like, spin-off thing. Like, I'm not, I don't really have to do my own thoughts, because I've really essentially said all my thoughts in this video. But yep, I'm the 23 vote. I'll see you guys next time for anything Fire Emblem. Uh, probably my next main discussion video will be about Fire Emblem Warriors and what we can expect to see out of that. Uh, I do have a lot of topics ready to discuss about it, and I think um, some of these, some of these uh, by other people as well, have pretty good ideas. So um, yeah, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.